If you're tired of looking at a small, dimly lit, not color accurate LCD screen on your camera when you're filming at a distance, then the Portkey's PT52 camera monitor might be the best budget option for you. Ever since I got this about six months ago, I've been using it with my Sony ZV-10 camera to make these videos. So first, let's talk about the features of this camera monitor. This lightweight monitor has a five inch touchscreen with a resolution of 1920 by 1080 and a brightness of 500 nits. It supports 4K HDMI input and an output of 1080p. It has a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack for audio monitoring. It also has a USB port for firmware updates and LUT loading, which I'll talk about more later on, and a DC port for the power supply. In the box you get the monitor, a sunshade, removable mounting points for the sunshade that also double up as drop protectors for the monitor, a HDMI to HDMI cable, a mount and a hard case. One of the things that is missing from the things that do come with this monitor in the box is a battery which you will have to purchase separately. The monitor can be powered either by a DC power source or compatible Sony MPF or Sony LPE6 batteries. When I first bought this monitor, I used these Sony MPF 550 batteries, but found the battery tended to drain quickly with these, so I upgraded them to these much bigger MPF 960 batteries, which now last hours before I actually need to change them. So my advice to you, whichever battery you do choose to get, always purchase multiples. So when you're using one, the other can be charging. The monitor weighs 150 grams and has a quarter inch screw hole on the bottom, so you can mount it on your camera, on a tripod, or on a gimbal. While I mentioned that this monitor is lightweight, depending on which battery you do choose to use with this monitor, you've got to remember that it's going to considerably add to the overall weight of your setup. One of the main features of this monitor is its very responsive full HD touchscreen interface, which allows you to access various functions and settings with a simple swipe or tap. The picture that you do get on this display is often very sharp, clear and visible, even with the sun shade on in bright sunlight and has a viewing angle of almost 180 degrees. Once the monitor is connected to the camera via the HDMI cable, if you're thinking that my cable looks a little bit different to the one that might be in the box, it's because this one I've purchased on Amazon, which features that angled entry into the camera, which I prefer to how the standard cable goes in, which can disrupt other cables that you may have also going into the camera. On the user interface, there are two menus. Firstly, the main menu, which features the image settings or the way that you see what's displayed from the camera onto this monitor. Remember, this monitor is only for monitoring. Some monitors may have advanced features where they can do sort of remote changes to your camera, but this one is only for monitoring. So any changes to how it looks on the monitor won't affect what's being recorded by the camera. You can change the orientation of the image and have it flipped vertically or horizontally, depending on which way up the monitor is when you're actually recording. System settings, volume settings, firmware upgrades, and 3D LUTs, which can be imported directly into the monitor from a USB stick. So if you record in a particular color profile on your camera and use a LUT in post, you can see the effect of that LUT as you're recording live. Swiping across from the main menu, you gain access to the shortcut function menu. Here you can enable 14 monitoring tools such as focus peaking, zebra, false color, waveforms, audio meters, histogram, 3D LUT, rectangle crop, and more. Long pressing each individual monitoring tool gives you a few more customizations for that specific tool. If there are monitoring tools that you don't use, you can also customize the function buttons to remove icons or make the more important icons easier to access. This monitor is going to be ideal for anyone who wants a larger and brighter screen than their camera's built-in monitor, especially for shooting outdoors. The sunshade helps block the glare and the 500 nits brightness is decent in most situations. This monitor is going to help you achieve accurate exposure, focus and colour with those various monitoring tools and scopes. And with that touchscreen interface makes it easy and intuitive to use this monitor. The good things about this monitor are its affordable price, which is much cheaper than other monitors with similar features and performance, its responsiveness and intuitive touchscreen interface with the buttons that are well placed and easy to access. It's very versatile. It works with almost any camera that has a HDMI output, such as my Sony ZV-10. And I've even managed to plug this monitor into my iPhone 15 Pro with the use of a HDMI to USB-C cable. The ability 
to receive 4K HDMI input, although it does only show on this monitor at full HD 1920 to 10. 80 resolution. The 3.5 millimeter headphone jack for live minimal latency monitoring. Now while there are a lot of good things about this, there are some not so good things about this that some people may be concerned about. One of them being that 500 nits brightness, which for some people in bright conditions, it might not be enough brightness. It doesn't come with a battery and only supports those MPF or LPE6 batteries, which have to be purchased separately. I probably would have liked a rechargeable battery in this that could probably be charged by USB-C and it can only output that original 4k input into a 1080p signal. So who is this monitor for and who is it not for? It's going to be for anyone looking for a budget friendly, feature rich and easy to use monitor for their DSLR, mirrorless or cinema camera. It's going to be suitable for beginners, enthusiasts and some professionals who want to improve their shooting experience and quality. This monitor is not really going to be for anyone who needs a really bright monitor for those extreme outdoor conditions or someone who requires remote access and control of their camera from monitor or needs a higher resolution display than the 1920 to 1080p that you do get on this monitor. So that's what I thought about the Portkeys PC52 camera monitor. I'll leave a link to this in the description below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this. And if you want to see the accessories, including this monitor that I use to turn my Sony ZV-10 into a pro machine, check out this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.